Hello and welcome to EBA Day 2020. I'm Hannah Wallace and kindly calling into our virtual studio is Daniel Schmuckler from the Euro Banking Association. So welcome Daniel, thank you very much for calling in. Thank you for having me. No problem at all. I'm sorry we couldn't be face to face in the studio this year, but it's good to have you on nonetheless. So yes, we're gearing up to a really exciting EBA Day this year. I know it's slightly different for obvious reasons, um, but it'd be great if you could run us through some of the exciting new topics on the agenda and what we can expect from this year. Yes, well, this is really a special year, extraordinary in a sense that it's the first time that we do EBA Day in a virtual format. But on the content side, there's a lot that has happened uh, this year that we want to bring to the forefront of our uh, member community. And uh, in particular, we'll talk quite a lot about request uh, to pay, as we see this as a very important uh, uh, stepping stone in uh, increasing the migration of uh, instant payments and, and the adoption of instant payments. So it's it is not uh, per se an infrastructure um, uh, component, but it is, uh, you could say, a value added service. Huh? And uh, it will facilitate the collection of, uh, of payments. It will also increase the communication between uh, the bank and their customers. And uh, that, sort of, um, uh, that sort of value added service, I, I believe, will enhance quite a lot uh, the adoption of instant payments. So that will be quite prominently on the agenda this year. Um, and another item that will be prominent is our central bank uh, issued digital currencies and stable coins. Um, from an innovative point of view, that's quite interesting. We haven't seen much of that in the past year, so there will be a particular focus and we have great speakers assembled uh, in, in that panel, uh, including, of course, um, regulators that have a keen eye on making sure that uh, that sort of innovation will not create any regulatory arbitrage. So um, those are two, I, I would say, highlights that uh, we put forward that are quite different from, from, from past years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I can't wait. So following on from those topics you just highlighted, which topics do you think uh, from past years do you feel are still going to be relevant to the community this year and next? What about that? Well, um, there are a number of topics that have global relevance now for uh, a couple of years and, and, and they're here to stay for the time being. So that's everything around real time payments, uh, everything around open banking, um, also everything around uh, the ISO 2022 migration, which are really, really coming to the forefront now uh, this year. Uh, more so maybe than 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 uh, than last year, and on in particular on the ISO 2022 migration, the highlight will of course be next year because as you know the migration has been has been uh, at an industry level postponed by a year, but we still believe it's extremely important not to only look at the operational and technical side, but also on the strategic. Uh, aspects around that migration. Which opportunities does this open up for banks? Um, it's not just richer data, but it's really a, a, a great opportunity to rethink, to re-engineer uh, many of the payment flows that exist today. And uh, so we, 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 will, we will have a, a panel on that as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I understand there's going to be a wealth of diversity across the agenda as well from expertise, seniority, uh, country representatives and gender. So tell me, how did you go about uh, this year's representation for the panels? Can you tell me a bit more about that? Yes, well, we thought it's really time that we get uh, uh, that we adjust the mix, so to say, between senior level uh, speakers and uh, hands on practitioners, um, adjust also uh, the gender balance, try to get more uh, female moderators into in, 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 into the program. Um, we also went away from, um, let's say, working a lot with our uh, internal EBA board members to to moderate many sessions, and we have we have uh, chosen to go for professional moderations. Given given that it's probably more difficult to run this event and to prepare for this event and each panel in the virtual uh, setting than it is. Physically, you know, there's a technology element that is added to the mix. 
Um, and and also, uh, I think there's uh, a lot uh, on the let's say global front that we have uh, advanced on. So we will focus not only on Europe um, and 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 have also invited a number of speakers from. Um, uh, so uh, Asia or Africa or uh, the US, uh, Canada, uh, Australia. So that I think enriches uh, the, the, the program. And uh, as I said before, some of the topics have global relevance. Mm -hmm. So uh, it really makes sense to, to get perspectives from across uh, the various continents into, into the main agenda. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I know it's a virtual event this year, but I can't wait nonetheless. And it's so great to catch up. Thank you so much for highlighting what we can expect from this year and uh, it's good to have you on. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you.